Hi, my name is Jamie Leonard. I am a design engineer with Van Meter, um, specializing in automation and software. So today I'm going to take a little bit of time to show you how to look up lifecycle status um, a couple of different ways using Proposal Works and also on Rockwell Automation's website. So as you're looking at a project or you're looking at a replacement, um, knowing and understanding the lifecycle status of that component, of that product, um, will help you to determine long-range um, planning and feasibility around your, your project, your stock inventory that you keep, as well as potentially helping you to make migration plans for um, critical equipment and that and how to progress that over time to a more current up-to-date um, product offering. So first we're going to look at Rockwell Automation's lifecycle status webpage. So we're going to start from the rockwellautomation.com um, website and what you're going to do across the top you're going to come over to support. Click on support, come over to product support and down to management and click on management. That brings you up where you can check for product compatibility and migration. Um, you can look at product selection. We're going to focus on management. And down in management, you're going to find product lifecycle status and you're going to click there. That brings us to the product lifecycle status webpage, where if you want to understand more about what the lifecycle status definitions are, they are listed on this webpage. Um, Notice Rockwell does not put a definitive amount of time in which a specific product is going to be in a status. Um, so talk to your account manager, your account representative um, to get more detailed information. But this just gives you an overview of what each stage of lifecycle status means. There's also, this is for product and this is for software and firmware versions as well. We're gonna go back up here to the search bar. To find the product lifecycle status of a specific um, component or series or family, you're going to enter the catalog number or a partial catalog number into the search bar. So we're going to look at 2094, which is dealing with our um, kinetic servo motion. And there is 94 products listed. Um, here at lifecycle status on the filters, they have everything from active to active mature, discontinued, and end of life. So we'll first look at active mature. And as we filter by active mature, you can see this very first one, the 2094XL775SC1 is active mature. It shows a replacement product of this Kinetic 6500. So that's Rockwell's recommendation um, for a replacement for this series. As we scroll down, you'll see some of the products have not applicable, so they do not have a direct replacement. Um, it could also say engineered solution, meaning that there's not a direct drop-in replacement. You'll have to engineer that solution. And the same also applies if we look at discontinued. Um, as well as end-of-life items. Some will have recommendations um, and some will not. So like this specific one is a 2094AC16M03. It's an integrated access module. It has a recommended direct replacement. So if they do have a recommended direct replacement, they will give you the full catalog number. So one of the nice things about the product lifecycle status webpage is if you enter in a number, we're going to look at a 1769. Not only do you have the ability to see what the lifecycle status for that product is, but using this AENTR as an example, they're offering links from the catalog number to the web page. They also have quick links. So if they are available, you can access the online configurator user manual specifications and any downloads that they have linked. So you could actually use this lifecycle status webpage as an access portal to more information about um, specific products. 
another opportunity to look up life cycle status or to see the life cycle status of a specific product um, is through Proposal Works. So again, even if you do not have a full catalog member, if we pull up, let's look at the 1769 again. I just entered it in and hit enter and I'm gonna browse for a replacement. So as I come up here, so I'm gonna look at the controllers and I click on the 1768, 1769. I double click it, it opens up the product configurator and I'm just gonna select this top one for our example. I hit accept and it comes into proposal works and right down here you can see the current status is being active. If you do not see the active status or the current status of your product, there is a lifecycle status module um, that can be installed with Proposal Works. Just reach out to your account representative um, and they can set you up with that. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch this video and learn about lifecycle status and how to find that. If you have any further questions about lifecycle status or any of the Rockwell product offerings or anything that Van Meter can help you with, please take the time to reach out to your account representative. Thank you.